Today is the final day. You have less than 14 hours to make the right choice. In which it finally becomes apparent what it was all about. What was it all about? Well, I still don't know. Anyways, hello everyone, Nazunogami here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pathologic. We last left off, we found out that the, uh, the polyhedron got another image here. Like, its anchor, which was buried under the ground, caused the plague underneath the soil to raise up. Apparently, like, enough time, enough little shifting past for it to finally happen. So I've been, so I spent my time, like, uh, a little bit of resting and also wandering around looking for, like, any other adherents that I could save. Uh, I found one other. Pull up the map again. So, this little train car, someone lives there. A child named Murky. I came across that name, uh, in one of the earlier days. Changeling do, like, sticky and murky. I never saw a house for that, and it turned out to be that train car. Went everywhere else, but didn't see anyone. But then it crossed my mind, uh, I've never actually, uh, been inside the abattoir. I mean, I went in once, but I got ganged up and beaten on. And I can't look at quests from the previous days, just letters. One, one other strange thing I found is that the food stores were open past close. I was still able to buy food. So I took care of my hunger problem. But there's no one around, no rats. I mean, the only people outside are executors and guards at their posts. Oh, and these guys. I also found that the territory still had uh, butchers and ogdons. Worms. However, they're called. But can I actually go in again? Oh, what a racket! Huh? A ladder. I was told you were looking for an alternative way, only none. I know what we must do. We have no other choice but to offer an ordinary sacrifice. Doing so is still the most humane thing that can be done. If you think you could trust my judgment, come see me and I will tell you the details of it. I am running out of time. So much has happened recently. And that feels I'm being torn too. Help me. Brock. Where can I find you? Alright, so we can't go back on the avatar. Last time we saw Barack was at the works. I wonder if he was still he, if he would still be there or or if he might be back in the termitary. Yeah, these guys are still around. Nope. I guess it's back to the works then. Yep, he was still in the same spot. In Barack. The town can be cleansed. I know how to make enough panacea now. I hope you're happier than I am, Oinun. So yeah, mustered up the resolve too. What about you? I'm in doubt, Oinun. All this time I walk in between two paths. Hope that eventually they would converge into one. 
but they went different into different directions. I know how to preserve the town without risks. I could have shown you the proof I promised. I was a bit short on time. Why? Because I have to take care of several children. My confidants. They are to rebuild the settlement and turn their lives to become the angles of its foundation. So you're bound our children? Yes, exactly. Olgemskaya has marked them, and her mark is not of this world. She is never wrong. Say, so if you took it upon yourself to take care of them, I have, I have time to prepare my arguments before eating and could attend the council well prepared. But Changeling has ruined them. Now some of them are dying. I suppose I could help them. Really? Then I could present the commander with arguments in favor of a proposal that will preserve the town at the cost of destroying the tower. This is a wise arrangement and, as my heart tells me, a lasting one. I'm thinking about the future of my community. What do you need for that? My confidants are alive, so I'll come. I see no problems with that, but you're absolutely sure they really are alive? I am. Your confidants are alive when I'll see you at the Council of Barak. Barak will come to the cathedral. If I will allow him to pass the ultimate judgment, he will destroy the polyhedron so that the town may survive at the cost of its uncommonness. Once again, the town will become the same backward hole it was before. The Hippocratic Oath enjoins us to preserve the life of a genius by means of creative lobotomy. Vigorous applause. Can you tell he's being sarcastic about it or not? But I also got another ladder. Bachelor! From the powers that be, we thought we should write, because you don't seem to be listening to what we tell you. You've gotten out of hand. As of late, you keep doing whatever you please. This is unacceptable. You are spoiling the game. If this letter reaches you in good time, do come to the polyhedron. They will let you inside. Keep your eyes tightly closed. Descend to the bottom and say, three, four, five. Open your eyes. We'd like to have a little chat with you. The people who own you. Well, now the powers that be are mad. This way. No, no other way. I expect we're going to get a letter from the Changeling, too. And she still should be at the Commander's. Anyway, what choice? If I wasn't playing as any of the characters, and if there weren't any endings specifically... Ah! There we go! Do you remember the letter I sent you? The time has come. The victory I'm trying to lead you, you to is not enabled by reason. It is made possible by faith alone. You cannot prove it. You can only feel it deep within your heart. I am in the left wing of the termitary, so come along if you want to talk. My plan is the only one that will work. Nothing has to die. Clara. Back to the termitary! And I just got out of there, damn it. Well, the right side of the termitary. Never been to the other one. If it's the other door I'm thinking of. Anyways, what I was saying... If there were no endings related to any specific character, and if I wasn't playing as any specific character... Like, if I was, like, someone else entirely... Looking at these three characters... I would go for a Barak's ending. Destroy the tower. Save the town. I mean... In a way, I also kind of want to believe in the Changeling's miracle, but... I don't see how it can happen. Um, not necessarily one of faith myself. It's just... I mean, I believe in karma. It's something out there, but... I mean, belief alone isn't enough. But then I don't know what she's been doing. Uh, the saint, the demon, who knows. So by left wing, do they mean this door? 
you well, yeah, you know. It's my first time here, too. Yes? See how everything turns out? Who could have thought? You have to sacrifice something. Either the town or the polyhedron. One of the queens wants to destroy the wondrous tower, while the other seeks to raise as much as possible just to make sure. You have a different solution? If my confidants are alive, I will come to the council with you, and there won't be a single queen there that I won't be able to convince. Hence to my cause. But are you actually sure they are alive? Do you really want me to come to the council? Yes, I'm sure all your bound are well. Come to the cathedral. Give you the right to decide. Clara will come to the cathedral. If I will let her make the ultimate decision, she will force the commander to withdraw his troops, and the current situation will remain unchanged. Yet, might a refusal to intervene be seen as a decision in itself? In this case, the town will remain a machine of death, no matter how pretty. Just a quick look around here. Like, the door has been locked before. So I actually just want to have a quick look around before moving on. Wait, as I'm playing the Bachelor's route, I'm gonna go for the Bachelor's ending. How tall is this building? Ugh, finally. Oh, and what do you know? It doesn't really lead to anything. Anyway, I wanted to... Im Even though I'm going for his ending, uh... I just wanted to still invite the two to come along. I mean, this is the end. I feel like all, all three of us should be to get there together. But it looks like we have to go to the Polyhedron first. And finally meet the powers that be. Still early in the day, we got plenty of time. So I'll cut on ahead. Man, even the even the dog heads that guard here are gone. So I can do we just walk in? Oh yeah, I also found out that uh, every named character will actually have a little thank you dialogue. Thank you for saving our lives, and then what are you going to do now? I'm not going to cover it for this playthrough, though. Eh? No, 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 I didn't mean to leave. Go back, go back. I wanted to go down. Guess I accidentally re-stepped on the symbol. All the children are here, though. Here we go to the bottom. Think about doing, like, going over each person's thank you at the end of, uh, Clara's playthrough. You know, for when it's really, really the end. Where are the powers are that be? What are they doing in, in the polyhedron, anyways? They're children. Grown children. And the town, the polyhedron. Don't be upset. Being a toy is also nice. Toy. So this was all a game. But why did you play it like this? Why couldn't you have chosen a different game, like Tag or something, huh? Because we've been to a funeral! They've been sending us out to the garden for ten days in a row so that we wouldn't get in anyone's way. They've been taking us to the cemetery for a week now, Bachelor. And if you keep being naughty, I'll take you with me next time and leave among the wreaths. Um, 
among the reset so that you know better. So who died on you? No one did. No one ever does. Why is he asking about it? Hush, hush, no need to cry. Oh, come on. And you? Hey, look, it's Batser. Wow, he's so big. How'd you find us? They've already told you, right? So the powers that be are you. I want you to tell me everything. No problem. What do you want to know? What diabolical game are you playing? Look! It's a magic sandbox. See how it reflects in the mirrors? It's because everything's for real there. Here's a town. We've made it out of sand. And there's this awful thing going on there. An epidemic. So it's all crumbling. The town is falling apart. But we sent heroes there to fix it. So how'd you go about sending the heroes? It's rotting, see? Ew. We hope they think of something. Mirror in the sand, at least. They're magical too, you know. T-O-O. The heroes are. Take you, for example. Look how it walked out. You used to be a doll, and now you're alive. Perhaps the rest also work like this? What are you gonna do now? Heal the town, please. Just look. It's so wonderful. It's alive, and it's our favorite one. We won't be able to make another one like this. If it can't be helped, then it will disappear forever. You know how much we love it? Surprising twist. Anything else? See, doll? It was us. We've arranged all this. It turned out to be great. we would never made a world like this before. It's magical. We planned it and here's what's grown up. But now there's rot everywhere. Doll. It was all a story. A game. To kids. I guess there are kids in the real world. But all this was all part of their imagination. Except, except we're alive. We're like little gods. Well, little dolls in the hands of little gods. I'm a human being. In that case, you're a human being that closely resembles one of our toys. It's a bachelor, but we're calling it Daniel Dankovsky for fun. Can't be, I'm not your toy. Really? So you're not a, gall? a doll? Go ahead, hit me then. Well, why are you just standing there? I dare you! Hit me with everything you have! What shall I do now? Stop moaning, get up, and help us fix the town! You're doing well! Just a little bit left till the game is over! It's time for us to go home anyway! I don't believe you, you are not real! Anything else? Hope place. I hope I can sw still switch places with you someday, you powers that will have been. That can happen too. Nanny said everything happens. You'll know what it's like being a toy in the hands of a monster. That it. Yeah. And this garden is their play area. I still have my things though. But then again, all of this is taking place inside the polyhedron. Where... Where dreams and daydreams come to life. So it could be whole, the whole roundabout for all I know. Another letter. Please do come by to meet us at the theater if you have a spare minute. We'd like to have a rather inconsequential but mature talk with you. We apologize in advance for inconvenience. The people who... who Executed the whole thing that aren't the powers that be come back to the theater This is a lot to process in my head Like everything is a game and we're just dolls the actors in the game Yet, they're not in complete control of the world. It's like they built the world. They, they put characters in it.
Maybe they're not as godly as I think they are. Any to anybody that's seen the movie The Adventures of Mark Twain, it actually reminds me of the Mysterious Stranger segment. Where, uh, Satan, uh, like, shows that he can make a little world and encourages the three kids to make characters. And then he shows, he gives the little creation's life. And then he shows he can do whatever the hell he wants. And not feel bad about anything. It's kind of like that. Except that you can't really compare these two kids to Satan. Not the mysterious version anyways. Or any version for that matter. They say they came back from a funeral. I wonder if they made the game to help cope with it. But they say nobody died. Like, maybe it's their own way of learning how to deal with death. Think all would be possible. Thanks to the magic of the polyhedron. Which is also causing the plague to break out. But and what's going on at the theater? People who are really behind this. It all goes back to the theater, huh? Come in. They're waiting for you. And I take my coat and my bag. Are we having one last mime performance? Maybe not my performance, but... Hello, folks! Are you the same two characters that told me about the mechanics of the game? The hero is a doll, but so are the children. The real game is what's happening between you and us. I cannot leave the bachelor's body! You are imposing your limits upon me! So, they're talking to me. Well... Hello, I'm Nazanogami, semi amateur let's player. So, that really was, like, you know, the me, you character, like, at the intro of the theater with the three characters. Bachelor has lost his battle for freedom since the very day he was born. What about you? I wanted to stop the epidemic, even a make-believe one. But did you understand what the epidemic really was? It was truly rather obvious. No, now it was all a children's game in the glass sandbox, but what for? Was the disease the true evil, though? The disease is only a method, the weapon of evil, just like a scalpel in bachelor's hands. The disease will go, devouring itself. Then there will be war, famine, heresy. Was it really worth all the effort? Look around. A weapon of evil... Then who was the wielder? All this for a single wretched town. No, it was the town that had been built for you, not the other way round. We apologize if it's been a disappointment. No, I would say not. No. So you're curious as to what fate I will choose for the town? 
we have to make sure that it truly is you who's making the decision. Are you absolutely positive that your choice is not predetermined by anyone or anything? Could it have been otherwise? Oh, absolutely. When every step you take has been predicted, you are still free to either take it or not. When it has been foreseen, however, you remain a mere puppet in someone else's hands. Well, being my puppeteer is way too good a position for you. And you? You see how sad our fortune is? We put all our hopes in you. We poor actors are hoping you become the director of a new show. The old one has been beaten to death, but you turned out to be a doll. I'm not a doll. Did I hear you right? Who is it speaking? It's me, the player. Oh, then I apologize profusely. You are definitely not a doll, but that seems to be unhelpful for our hero now. He is humiliated, crushed, but most importantly, he is deprived of the power that we have all hoped for. By the way, are you still willing to take responsibility for him? Well, yes, he is my responsibility. I will stay with him to the very end. His words shall be my words. His deeds shall be my deeds. Oh, then I apologize once again. Perhaps not all is lost yet. Let's wait for the finale and see if the day brings any surprises. We still have a chance to play in a drama with an unpredictable story. Watch me act! So, no mind performance. Then I guess at the very start, it was also these two talking to me, the player, directly, and not the Bachelor. Even though he has no clue what's going on. But then again, they phrase things in a way that can be spoken to both the Bachelor and the player. This surprise fourth wall breaking was actually, actually delightful. Oh, and I just now realized there was one more letter. Tonight at 7, proceedings will be held at the town cathedral. I earnestly request your attendance. You will introduce your argument for this obtuse commander in order to substantiate your, our, I should hope, decision. I also ask you to put all your current affairs in order before the proceedings. The situation is at a stalemate. Whatever authority I wield is not enough to guarantee that the right decision is enforced. Yes, I rely upon your discretion as well as your decency. Aglaia Lilith, Inquisitor. Well, it's almost noon. So... Still got seven hours left. Anyway, that little fourth wall breaking was... Nice, I mean... Like, even, like, player reactions just it like went with the flow well if you so choose instead of like wait what what you're talking to me it's like you are aware of me I am aware of you also yes I know it's a game yes you know it's a game and it feels like actors talking behind the scenes And very strangely enough, it reminds me of the last two episodes of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Where it's like, everything's just about over. It's just people talking now. Philosophizing. Anyway, since we saved everyone for the final day, I am finally going to cure myself of this plague. Let's try a schmouter. And it just about killed us. Executors were right when they said that they burn out your insides. Uh, and now we can actually get some real rest.
here I only have a fish to eat. Oh, fishing. Hazelnuts. Rest for another three. So, normal resting uh, doesn't recover health, just exhaustion. Can we go early? And then there's another one. You are too early. The queens will be deciding upon the fate of the remains of this bridge town at 7 o'clock. As for now, the cathedral is closed. I'll come later. Let's see, for now, I wouldn't really say it's the time to give final thoughts. Because there are still two playthroughs after this. I'm gonna be out pathologic by the by the time all this is over. But not really because Pathologic 2 has been released. I haven't installed it yet, but I have bought it. And everybody is already jumping on the Let's Play wagon for that game. I am actually going to wait until I start the Haruspex's route first. Because what I'm going to do, since uh, Pathologic 2, since the only route that's been released so far is Haruspex's, I'm going to play both routes of both games at the same time, day by day. Like, I'll play the first day of his route for this game, and then move on to Pathologic 2, play the first day of his route and then go back forth back forth in this sense not only can I compare and contrast the games but also the routes themselves day by day food give me your food don't really have I have no need for anything else really I could just sell everything if I wanted to that should get me through the rest of the final day. But anyway, all that said, that is going to be my plan going forward. Getting closer to time. When it comes to things like meetings, I am the person who arrives early. Mostly. I try to make it early. Still, what happened to the plague? I mean, 
I mean, initially you think everybody died, but except not really. Like, is there a town left to save? I was hoping you would have had bandages or tourniquets. Nope. So, all of our adherents, well, the only one that didn't make it was Eva Yan. But it seemed like it was unavoidable. So it looks like we still get a pass despite her unexpected passing. Jumped off the roof of this very cathedral. And I just now noticed, for the first time, the clock doesn't move. And the sky is kind of clear. I mean, it's raining, but you can see the blues again. Even in this gray overcastness. It's time. Come, Bachelor. The Assembly is weighing your decision. The queens of this chessboard are in a deadlock. They have each other pinned down. The game may very well end in a tragic stalemate. You are a pawn at the finishing line. Deliver your checkmate. Mate. I hear laughter from under your ugly beak. Funny. Now everything will be decided. The Inquisitor last seems to think she has used you. Confused? Don't you fret. She's also nothing. Everything was leading to this. You are now acting in the interest of inevitability. You can't get away from it. Evil conquers all. Make way. Everyone's here. Final words. Just wash your hands of it. Look at them. You see now that she is a victim? Do not paint her a demon. She's just honestly doing her duty, like you or me. idea what you're talking about, Barack. There's not a single woman here feeding your description. Clara? People are willing to sacrifice themselves so that the town survives. Help me get to the cathedral. I'll show you. Well, are you planning to make up your mind anytime soon? It's like, no, you're going to keep the town intact. No, Bachelor, you will never understand this. You are very smart, but your intelligence holds you back. You will never come to understand my truth. Even though you're close to Maria and believe in Simon's abilities, you are still all too far from understanding the higher purpose of things. And my truth only comes together on that level. Are you so displeased with my intelligence? Your victory is a victory of pure reason. Look, just like we all, you have reconstructed a picture of the whole universe and found the root of what happened, but your picture is austere and bare bones. You have merely come to understand the mechanics of the event. You are generally a mechanic of a medic. Who are you then? Me and Barack. We are different and much more profound. Believe me, your world is mechan spell. mechanically consistent and rational. You want to keep what is reasonable to keep and to destroy what is necessary to destroy in order to complete your tragic mission with minimal risk. Are you laughing? I mean, I want to keep the polyhedron. What could be less logical? You want to keep the polyhedron on respect for the kindred genius who has calculated the mechanics of a miracle trap. A, con a contraption able to capture what should not be captured. The polyhedron is only a cold mathematical masterpiece made of glass to you. It's a very different thing to me. Look at you, it's like you're possessed by someone else. Perhaps it's not the same me you knew before. There is more than one me. 
A lot, perhaps. We've got the same pretty face, but who knows whose will is behind it right now. Uh, we'll give you an opportunity. Is she also being controlled by a player? Goliath? Premonitions rarely fail me. I am indeed powerless, as you can see. I'm accused of having arranged your discovery. I've lost my vote of confidence, so tell them whose discovery it is, for the laurels are yours. Are you in doubt? I already made up my mind. Maria? If we're in the majority, the fragile polyhedron will be left untouched. Childhood will not dissolve into thick time, and we'll live the eternal wonder. I knew you would come. So you see you've woken up just in time. When will you begin to execute your design, Maria? I have already begun my Daniel. When the night falls and the wind scatters the smoke above the scorched earth and the dust of the buildings demolishes settles, you will see several new constellations light up in the sky. They will plunge their light towards us, and when the first specks of this light reach the ca castella ca castellations of the polyhedron, a miracle will happen. What will they be like? How are you going to call them? I'll see, but I expect them to be mostly red, ruby, scarlet, crimson, carmine, merlot, mahogany, vermilion, garnet, rose, pink, burgundy. Perhaps you may even notice something familiar in the structure of these constellations. Where will these constellations come from? They have existed for a long time already. People just couldn't see them before because their light was hurrying, hurrying towards us from far beyond. Now the first rays of these stars are about to reach our surfaces. You will see their light reflected in the, spe in the specular plane of the preserved polyhedron. I'll become. I'm of your family, Maria. Perishing, burning down, dissolving without a trace. This is my family's destiny. It happened to my mother. It happened to Simon. Tomorrow, Georgie dies, and my father will fade out in a week. And in ten years, when my town is complete, I will pass it on in the same fashion. What will happen to the children? Will you expel them from the tower? There's nothing to be done about it. They have to free up the space for the new guests. My brother will come embittered, betray me, and rebel against me. But I will find a way to deal with him. He will cower behind Capella's back willingly when my mother's eyes frown and glare at him. Have you become a mistress already? No, I haven't. You won't see it here. Unless you're planning to stay, of course. Hmm. I won't leave the town the military train at dawn. Commander? I'm feverish. So, Bachelor, it was neither greed nor play nor circumstance that has informed your choice, but your conscience alone. I've been given orders to level everything here, but if that's not necessary, I'm willing to trust your judgment, risking my life and honor, for I am merciful. Where shall I point the weapon? This is it. Huh. Have this choice, but... He's not really saying, uh... Why he wants it preserved. Not actually. But this is it. For this route, anyways. Let the settlement be destroyed. But there is no reason to hurt the polyhedron. The survivors will find shelter there until we vaccinate them and the epidemic dies out. So you think that the town is doomed? I do. The soil underneath it is soaked with poison. We're very lucky that the ground here is so fastidious. Plow every inch of it up with shells. Shake it. Pull its rocks out. Split it into cracks so that no one will ever dare re-inhabit this land. This side of the river is uninhabitable. I see. And you believe that the tower will make it through the bombardment despite its base being so thin? Yes, the tower must keep its balance. I've studied this structure, and I'm inclined to believe that it is rather earthquake-resistant. It's like a weight on a steel spring. If no shell explodes on the opposite bank of the river, the polyhedron will remain intact. Shells will only fall where I point them to fall. Let it be so, then. Can you prove that this is a good way out? I can. Here are my arguments. A bacteria specimen. The vaccine. The blueprints. And the map charting the source of the pest. Are you sure there's nothing else you'd like to kill? Tell me. Sure, Commander, the choice has been made. <laughs> I 
let the tower remain whatever the cost. Nothing like it will ever be built again. It is not a mere building, but a symbol. It allows us a hope, a possibility that some false truths of our ill-fated ep epoch might be overthrown. It is a delicate fortress that holds variable proof that however well established our notions of possibility are, they still fail to account for what may or may not exist. This is the bastion I'm willing to fight for. As for the powers that be, they are going to regret their hypocrisy. They were so determined to force me to observe the promise I gave not to disappoint. The town they are so finally reduced to rubble. This I have spoken. We can't let cheats play with our free will. Wait to midnight. We seriously gotta wait it out. And you have nothing more to say to me. Deciding the fate of everything just feels so heavy. Like, I don't think I've felt this sense of heaviness since uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It's like, you have three days. did it, it was a free choice. We acknowledge the victory of the player. It is indeed miraculous. The exit is clear. It shouldn't have happened. The miracle must be real. still here. This is us this time. Dolls. Getting flashbacks of Coraline. So, that was anticlimactic. I was expecting like a little bit more of a cutscene, but that's it. There goes the town. Polyhedron stays. Not really happy with this ending, but that's one ending down. There's also a bad ending if you don't make a decision at all, or if you fail to 
keep at least one adherent alive. I'll go over that at some point, too. Maybe also near the end, but... Next up will be the Haruspex's route. Start his route. And start Pathologic 2 at the same time. I am so excited. So, I am going to go exit stage left. So, until then... This is Nazo Nogami, signing off.